Oh, it's not working. It's not powering up. You're just getting those few beeps and it's not finishing powering up all the way. Well, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. You don't have to buy a whole new board. Very common issue. This gonna, video is gonna save you a lot of money, especially if you like to fly whoops. The problem is, at least in my case, is that the five volt regulator on the board failed. And that is stopping the board from powering up and giving the ESC that response that it needs. And one way that I figured out right off the bat that the regulator was blown was to connect it on the, on the computer over USB. Okay, now I'm gonna plug in a battery. Oh, look at that, see that? Now the board is responding because USB, which is five volt, is supplying us five volt. It's moving around. We can go to the motors. We wanna make sure we didn't burn up any of the motors. Yes, I know guys, I'm breaking the rules. I'm doing prop tests on the bench, but the point is I wanna show you that it works. Everything on this thing is working and we can fix it. If all it is is the five volt regulator, we can fix it and you could fix yours too. Let's jump in and show how we're gonna fix it. This is a little bag of Matex Sys Micro Bex or Battery Eliminator Circus. They take an input of anywhere from six to 30 volts and they output five volts. And I literally got three of these for $8.99. But look at how small that thing is. This thing maybe weighs one gram. So it's a perfect solution, really lightweight. We should have no trouble fitting it on this model. And just for a good size comparison, this is a micro SD card. That's the back. All right, what we're gonna do here is really, really simple. We've got five or nine volt out. It's five volt by default. This is gonna be back fed into the five volt pad on the board and it's gonna restore the power. And this is just gonna go to the battery leads. And I've actually not soldered the other ground wire because you don't need it. You can actually check this on a multimeter. All it is is just fed, it completes the circuit. So you should be all good on that. So this is the situation that we have. We've got the battery terminal here and here, and that's where we're gonna solder the six to 30 volt input line to the positive and then the ground to the ground. So that's what we're gonna do first. And this is not the easiest soldering in the world. I really recommend you get a helping hand device to help hold this in place and do this with some tweezers. Pre-tin the wires and actually I'm gonna go ahead and add a little, just a little bit of solder on top of the pads there. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my tweezer and use that to help me deal with this very little small wire here. That's it, we've got a connection. Yeah, guys, I know this small soldering is not fun, but it is doable. Trust me, you can do it. And I've got videos on soldering if you need to go over some stuff. This is gonna be the trickiest part. I'm gonna try to get this wire attached to that five volt pad there. It's gonna be a little tricky, gonna be a little tricky, but I think I can do it. Okay, I got it done. I'm skipping showing the soldering because it was a huge pain in the ass. And really, I brought it on myself for no reason. And I'm gonna tell you why, so maybe it'll save you some time. So let's go over what I did. I joined the video transmitter wire, which requires five volt. And I joined the wire from the back that supplies the five volt to the board to fix it to the same five volt pads. So I've got two leads on the same pad. And it's a really small pad. Look at how small that is. Yeah, not easy to solder. You'll get it if you need to. If your board only has one pad and you have to do it, that's just what you're gonna have to do. Uh, that's a five volt pad. So I could have just used that pad and not done gone through all that hell. So yeah, just a note, in case you're working with this specific board, you've got a five volt pad here. Don't go crazy like I did and join two wires together. But anyway, I think it works. There we go, we got it back. This is right now would be a good time to verify that things like your camera's working and mine definitely is, it's on. I can see the video transmitter's on. And then I'm gonna get this little Beck heat shrink to get it underneath the board. All right, well, I've got it all reassembled. It arms, it connects. Now I guess the only thing to do is 
to take it for a little test flight. So here we go. All right, guys, well, I'm really happy. I'm so glad that that worked out. I mean, wow, I didn't have to buy a whole new board, spend 35, 40 bucks. Then what's the likelihood of the same thing happening again with these things, right? And not only that, the Maytech Beck is 1.5 amps with 2.5 amps of burst. Really, really cool size back. I'm glad I got to try it. If you use this method to fix your whoop, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a message down in the comments below. Maybe you tried it. It doesn't work. Uh, I would love to help you troubleshoot that or just talk about this little fix here. Anything that we can all do to help each other save some money in the hobby is a good thing, especially when some of these bo little small boards are so fickle and they, they fail so easily. All right, that's it guys. Take care as always. Have a great day, and I'm going to go do some flying.